Interesting. Indeed. Looks like the guards got to these ones before we could. I do hope that's what happened. Speaking of vampires... Did we lose Serana? She'll catch up, I'm sure. I do hope she does. I'd hate to leave her behind on this sort of thing. What? I just realized, first of all, that it's snowing, but also that everything is in full bloom in spite of it. Welcome to Skyrim, I suppose. <laughs> um... Right, we're looking for... the Riften carriage person. And given the way that the sound is... What did I just hear? I'm not sure. Right, anyway, I assume that this is, in fact, the wall around Riften. The carriage driver is right in front of you, just so you know. That is who I was looking for. Excuse me, sir. Sir? Need a ride? Actually, I need to know if you've seen a moth priest. It's one of them imperial scholars, right? Old man with a grey robe. That's right. You've seen him. Might be that I have, but I can't say for sure. I got enough troubles on my mind just trying to scrape by out here. <sighs> Welcome to Riften. Yeah. Maybe this will put your mind at ease. Oh, yes. I remember your moth priest now. He wanted me to take him out to Dragonbridge, but I told him it ain't one of my stops. Oh. Well, Dragon Bridge. What's the closest stop to that one, Myth? I believe Solitude. All right. In that case, we'd like to hire your carriage. Where do you want to go? Oh dear, those crows. Uh, Solitude, my good man. Climb and back, and we'll be off. You know. I can't honestly say I'm surprised that we aren't getting the best service from Nords. Just All given. Talk of dragons returning to what am I? Makes me more than a Is that a Gua? Indeed. Why don't we just get in and not make him wait? I Good point. We do, we you ever met one of them cats? Khajiit, I think they called themselves. Let's get indoors. Or in a cave. Anywhere, just out of this. Oh, hey! Good of you to join us! <laughs> right. Where have you been? Um... On the way here, actually. But, we are headed to Dragonbridge. Soon. I'm sure of it. I have doubt of that, but that's fine. It was, in fact, snowing the whole way here. Also, good instincts. Oh, what is it? Uh, nothing right at the moment. Don't worry, I do have questions. I'm just not going to ask them now. That would be rather polite on the first mission, don't you think? The first what now? Oh, well... I'm just thinking of this... Perhaps in a bit of a a fantastical sense, a fictional one. You're comparing this to one of your books, I assume. Uh, maybe a little. Whatever makes you feel comfortable with all of this, I suppose. Any story in particular? Nope. Not off the top of my head. Just, you know, literary tropes and all that. A bit of self-awareness, I suppose. I don't really want to go prying into the mysterious vampire lady's... Uh... Tragic... Potentially... 
turning. Ah. Not bad instincts. Thank you, I thought so. Isn't it supposed to be... spring? Spring in the north? Huh. <laughs> when I say north, you can tell that I'm from House Redoran. You can, can't you? Normally you just sound sort of... neutral. Blacklight has that effect on one's accent, I suppose. Ah. This will be Dragon Bridge, ahead of us. Oh, good. Have you been here before? Indeed. It's a nice little place. Oh, I can hear someone chopping wood. Right. Where do you suppose we should ask about... a moth priest? Probably at the inn. Which is directly to your left. Oh, right. Oh, I see, well, sort of, the lanterns. That will be helpful. Oh. Huh? I'm amused. Why? They have garlic hanging over the door. <laughs> uh. I'm sure Serana won't mind. Come on in. Let me know if you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. Right. Um, actually, I had a question. Fate is the name. I keep the inn. Do you... Uh... Do you know anything about moth priests? Or anything like that? Nords don't care much for magic. The college in Winterhold is about the only place it's not looked down on. Otherwise, you could talk to the Jarl's pet wizard in solitude. Uh, that's not exactly what I meant, but that does answer my question. Thank you. See ya. Right. Um... Now what? I suppose there's nothing for it but to look around. I will let you handle that. Right. Well, sorry. Well, if nothing else, it's stopped snowing in the interim. Although, I can tell the sun's going down, because I can't see a damned thing. Um... It's so oh. bright out here. I don't know how you stand it. Well, first of all... <laughs> Was that supposed to be sarcasm, Serana? I appreciate your sense of humour if it was. Now, where? Let's look around the actual bridge and the road, I suppose. All right. Got to think. Oi. Maybe I'm the dragonborn, and I just don't know it yet. Uh, sure. Because it can't possibly be a blind Ultima woman, can it? I'm sure there are plenty of Norths that think that way. I'm not too keen to meet any of them. That makes two of us. So, the bridge is where? Under your feet. Well, that will do it. Of course, the question is, where, after this, do we look? At this point, I think we just keep going down the road until we find something that... seems suspicious. Great. I don't know what would possibly be suspicious on the road, in Skyrim. Well, an overturned wagon with a rather sizable number of dead people... Where? 
right here, actually. Uh, oh. Oh, all right. Ah. Ah, dead bodies. Wonderful. Can you tell anything about them? Let's move faster. The sun is... It's not great for my skin, if you know what I mean. Um, I sort of think I do. Great. Anyway, one of them is a vampire and the other one is an imperial soldier. So who knows? This might be... Oh, this one has a note in her pocket. Here. Can you tell me what it says? Of course. I have orders for you. Prepare an ambush just south of the Dragon Bridge. Take the Moth Priest to the Forebear's hideout for... S Forebear's holdout for safekeeping until I break his will. Malchus. Oh, okay. Well, they sound uncomfortably familiar. Don't read into that. Um, now what? Now we follow the blood trail. Great. So, Windhelm all over again. <laughs> Don't worry. I can see plenty- I can see plenty. And it is plenty of blood. So just- Go forward until I tell you to turn. Alright. A darling turn of phrase, if I might say so myself, given that we are dealing with vampires. Yes, please don't do that sort. <laughs> I intend not to. Uh, left here. Alright. Keep going straight, I see more of the road. Alright, so basically follow the road until you tell me otherwise, yes? Y yes Otherwise. Okay, <laughs> which way? To your right. Ah. Oh, oh, I almost slipped in that. Indeed. Right. Um... Left, actually. Okay. If you hit a standing stone... I mean, like this one here. Indeed, there's a hole in the rock. Just go forward. Alright. Uh. Oh. I see what you mean. Oh, there's blood on the wall. Yes. Right. Readying a shout, just in case. I don't suppose stealth will be of any use in here. It might. For scouting purposes, if nothing else. Fair enough. Do somewhat like caves. I can hear where things open up. Interesting. Mm-hmm. There's a magical barrier across the way, and a stream running through the middle of this cavern. Enemies? There are plenty. I see one up on the wall directly across from us. There was a death hound pacing around a bridge, over to our left. And the man is... Well, he moved, but not very far. Alright. Do you think I can hit him with a shout from here? Potentially. I'm not sure if you'd want to risk it, though. Right. There are three of us. However many of them. And I can light people on fire with my voice. I think it's worth it to just charge in. Because that worked so well last time. Might not be a bad idea, but I have a suggestion. 
Yeah. Don't use your mace. Keep them at a distance. You know, that's a good idea. Thank you. I have some of them occasionally. Right. So where's that death hound? Almost directly in front of us, but he's going the other way. All right. Shout now. Yo! Did I get him? Uh, yes. Where'd you come from? Well, we've got their attention. Right, where'd they go? There you are. Thanks, Saran, I got him. Right, excellent. And the vampires? Ah, who knows. Just so you're aware, Serana might have done a bit of necromancy on one of the Death Hounds. <laughs> Great! I have to say, running out a two handed weapon like this and trying to sneak, I'm not very stealthy. You're making do. I found the other death hound. Now we just need some vampires. And we'll have plenty. Alright, you ready? I'll cover you. Alright. Huh? Where? Um... Someone there? Up there. You come from? Yo! Stay alert. Oh, stairs. Oh, stairs. Over here. well for you. Death awaits you. Eventually. Not today. Done and done. Did we get them? Indeed. Well done, Serana. And also you, Sira. Well, thank you. That was... Apparently I have a fear of vampires. Honestly, right at the moment, I don't blame you one bit. The more you fight me, the more you will suffer, mortal. I will resist you, monster. Oh! You are too my own. What's the harm? There's one back. <laughs> Sorry, they just sort of snuck up on me. No, I, I don't blame you. Okay. And now what? I am. Hello, what's this? I'm exceptionally blind in here. But I can sort of see whatever's going on here. Oh, very, very magic. Well, the moth priest is trapped in the magic, it seems. Oh, lovely. So, how do we get him out? Are those coffins? Uh huh. They are coffins. Nope. 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 <laughs> huh. I do not like that. Okay. So we need... An ash pile. Lovely. 
We need to figure out where the... stone that I just picked up goes. I think I know. Oh? There's a pedestal. Down, sort of, well, now it's in front of you. All right. Right here. Oh dear. Okay, okay, okay. <gasps> Different shout time. Wait, stop. Done I yield. That that wasn't me. You were fighting. I could see through my eyes, but I could not control my actions. Thank you for breaking that foul vampire's hold over me. Uh-huh. Nothing like a little percussive maintenance to the cranium, right? I owe you a debt for the timely rescue. Are you alright? We did just sort of... attack you. Uh, I'm quite alright, thanks to you. Dexian Evicus is my name. I'm a moth priest of the White Gold Tower. These vampires claimed they had some purpose in store for me, but they wouldn't say what. Probably hoping to ransom me, the fools. Um... I know why they needed you. Unfortunately, it's because we need you for the same purpose. Sort of. You do? All right then, enough mysteries. So... We're with the Dawn Guard, not Sarana, she's sort of... A vampire consultant, I suppose. But we need you to read an Elder Scroll. You have an Elder Scroll? Remarkable. If my knowledge of history serves me, I recall that the Dawn Guard was an ancient order of vampire hunters. I will be happy to assist you with your Elder Scroll. Just tell me where I need to go. You can find us at Fort Dawn Guard, near Stendhal's Beacon. It's all the way out south by Riften. Very well. I'll hurry on my way there before more of those vampires turn up. Excellent idea. And we are going to... sleep, probably. Indeed. I happen to know that Dragon Bridge has very nice rooms. <laughs> nope, I'm not reading into that one. Of course not. Don't worry. Not worried. Uh... Right. So we sleep. Then we go to... Back to Fort Dawnguard. And... Read an Elder Scroll. I suppose. Indeed. Lead on. That was good fighting, Sarana. Uh... Sira. Both of you. <laughs> it's all right. Oh, hello. Wonderful. I do not remember where the exit is. It is across the way. Uh huh. That there is a da oh right across a bridge. Indeed. And we've caught up to Dexian. Oh, hello Dexian. Thank the divines for you. Safe travels, sir. Safe travels, sirrah. And once again, I'm struck with how very normal you sound most of the time. And then every once in a while, you you do a Dunmerism. Comes with the territory. <laughs>